A 55 kilogram bicyclist is coasting downhill. The bicyclist is also experiencing a 30 newton drag. Neglect any friction impeding the motion. All right, let's go ahead and start out by writing down net force, mass, and acceleration. And then we can draw our forces acting on the bicyclist. First, we have a weight acting straight down. Even though the hill slanted, make sure you draw that weight straight down. Then we have a normal force from the surface. Since the surface is slanted, that normal force is going to slant diagonally up to the right, perpendicular to the surface. We also have a drag acting back behind the bicyclist in the same direction as those motion lines. All right, since we are on a surface, an inclined surface, we're going to go ahead and break the weight down into two components. One that acts down the hill and one that acts perpendicular to the hill, like we practice in trigonometry. All right, then let's go ahead and start writing down some given. 55 kilograms is the mass, and since I'm using g equals 10 meters per second, I can put that down as the weight as well. Then we have this 30 newton drag. All right, so our next step is going to be to do some trigonometry, since I actually have two parts of the triangle. I have the weight and I have this angle. So let's go ahead and switch over to a different pen color and start knocking that out. So this little 17 degrees looks like it fits right here, and you could prove that with geometry. So let's go ahead and label these sides. So 550 newtons is going to be the hypotenuse. This side was touching the angle, so that's my adjacent side, and this is the opposite side, and this is our angle theta. So to find the adjacent side, I can do h cosine theta, and if I plug that in, I get 526 newtons. And plugging in h sine theta to find the opposite side, I get 161 newtons. All right, so remember that we can immediately cancel out the hypotenuse because it's been replaced by those opposite and adjacent sides. And now this normal force is going to equal 526 newtons. And that's going to cancel out this component of the weight. I can actually go ahead and fill out a few of my first answers. There are three forces acting on the bicyclist. The forces are not balanced. Remember, if you see that the um, speed is constant or the object is at rest, then the forces will be balanced, but this one's not. Then the magnitude of the normal force is going to be 526 newtons. So next, I can find the net force by looking at my remaining forces. Let's go ahead and highlight the remaining forces. We have this force acting down the hill, and we have this drag acting up the hill. So I can subtract those and get my net force of 131 newtons. Also, since I noticed that we had more force acting down the hill, that means the speed is going to increase because that's in the direction that the bicyclist is traveling. Finally, to get my acceleration, I can do net force divided by mass, and that gives me 2.38, and those units will be meters per second squared.